Glenn, how are you? Nice well, outfit. I'm, well, where's your costume? I'm going as you today. I'm sitting in your chair. Yeah, don't get used to that, pal. No problem. Uh, <laughs> Believe me, that is not something you have to worry about. Yeah, well, I'm I'm going Sounds nice as on the radio with your plastic yeah, bag that you're wearing. Yeah, well, I'm I'm going as a Trump supporter uh, today. It's the greatest. <laughs> it's the greatest costume at the last minute. You know, you put a belt around it, and it's very stylish. It is a little hot to wear a garbage uh, liner, but is it? Yeah, it's a little hot. That's interesting. They don't. Yeah, they don't really breathe. You know, don't really breathe. (laughs) Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, So anyway, you know, I was looking at what happened yesterday with with Trump pulling in on the garbage truck, wearing the, uh, you know, the the orange vest, which I've never seen him out of the blue suit. I thought that thing was sewn to his body, you know, Um, but uh, he comes out with the orange vest right off of Trump Force One. uh, And did you see his rally last night by any chance? I saw a chunk of it. I didn't see all of it, but I did see him in the vest. I saw oh him driving gosh. around in the, the garbage truck uh, with Trump yeah. on the side. I mean, oh, yeah. It's smart. Again, I, I will say. Very smart. The campaign for Trump in 2016 and 2020, it wasn't really impressed with. This one, I think, this has been good, pretty good. Like I, I don't think we'll ever see a campaign like this again. I mean, think of the images that we have. Donald Trump working at McDonald's, and it worked. I mean, it actually wasn't a Michael Dukakis moment. Anybody else try to do that, it, it, would, it would destroy them. It worked for him. Then, coming off the plane in a, in a construction outfit, driving a, a, a garbage truck, that wouldn't work for anybody else, but it worked for him. And then you have the image of him holding his fist up after assassination. You're never going to have another campaign like this, ever. Mm. Ever. Yeah, and, and I, I keep thinking to myself, you know, these have worked. It's, they've looked pretty good. I, I, I wouldn't keep pushing my luck with them. I feel like one of these is going yeah, to eventually feel like I Michael know. Dukakis. But honestly, right. he's been able We're to pull off of time. a couple yeah, of them every, already. Every single one. Do you see Ramaswamy in the garbage truck? No. He was picking up garbage, and he looked like a typical politician doing it. Mm. Um, which he's really not the typical politician, but he was like, okay, so I just grabbed this uh, can and I put it in the back. I mean, no offense to Vivek. I love him, um, but it, di- it didn't work. With Trump, I don't know how these things are working, but they are. And then he got on stage and he was making fun of himself, uh, you know, and he was, he was dancing. He's gotten better at dancing. I mean, this honestly <laughs> is the campaign. I mean... Yeah, I mean, it's not, I mean, he's he's not like, you know, me on the day. (laughs) Thank God he's not on the dance floor, you know. But uh, he's just, he's hit exactly the right tone, and they're hitting all the wrong tone. I mean, you know, they started out with, it's got to be a positive campaign. And look where they are, you know, calling Americans garbage. By the way, cut five, here's what Trump said about that last night. 250 million Americans are not garbage. This week, Kamala has been comparing her political (laughs) opponents to the most evil mass murderers in history. And now speaking on a call for her campaign last night, Crooked Joe Biden finally said, What he and Kamala really think of our supporters, he called them garbage. No way. No way! (laughs) And they actually mean it, even though, without question, my supporters are far higher quality than Crooked Joe or Lion Kamala. Higher quality. Higher quality. You know, it's... My response to Joe and Kamala is very simple. You can't lead America if you don't love Americans. It's true. Amen. 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 And it's clear, isn't it? Isn't it becoming very, very clear they don't like Americans? I mean, look at everybody around them. They're not people that you would want to hang out with. Are they? Is there anyone on the Kamala side on that team that you're like, you know, they just seem like fun. You know, they just seem like fun. Where on the other side, you have people who disagree with each other. You have, you have um, uh, Tulsi uh, on Trump's side. You have RFK Jr. You have Elon Musk. 
I mean, it is kind of the cool kids club. And they're all fun. They're all having fun. Well, I mean, RFK is not exactly fun. He, it hurts. Every time he speaks, I like, grab my throat. It hurts. What are you talking about? He's the most fun. The guy's like putting whales in his car. and, and, and <laughs> He's just picking up bears on the side of the road and like strapping them to his steering wheel for no just reason. Just crazy. He's got just all the crazy. good stories. It's just a normal day in America when the headlines read, Biden bites babies at White House event. I mean, nothing to see here, right? Just a norm, normal another day in America. Okay. Um, <laughs> there, there is also from Fox News an exclusive report, House Republican Conference Chair Elise Stefanik and House Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer uh, accused the White House of releasing a false transcript of President Biden's remarks in which he referred to people as garbage. Now, this is crazy. We, we saw the video, and they release a transcript that is not what he said. And then, and then they try to defend it, saying, well, no, he was just talking about the one comedian. No, no, he wasn't. He wasn't. Go ahead. Here it is. For Puerto Rico, where I'm in my home state of Delaware, they're good, decent, honorable people. The only garbage I see floating out there is his supporters. His, his, That's an ass. His demonization of scene is unconscionable. Yeah, but where's the where's the possessive apostrophe in that? Yeah, that's the, that's the that is the debate. Yeah, I mean they really are trying to say that like he was oh. saying the garbage is held by only one supporter. That right. was like their real argument on this. That it's just was, nonsense. Yeah, that was, yeah, just say yeah. just say the guy's incoherent and shouldn't be president of the United States. It would solve all your problems on this. You can't say that. They can't say it. You can't say that mm-hmm. because there's a deal. Shut up, Joe. Just shut up. Let's get through this. And, uh, you know, maybe we'll help you build his library. You notice he can't raise the money for a presidential library. Mm, yeah, you're the best president the ever. Back program.